Hello, Mario Vlogs, number 323, Pete Harvest. Hello, hello, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, today's video uses some of the B-roll that I took on my trip out to the Pete Mine last weekend. There will be four that further trips, so hopefully at some stage I will be able to record the actual machinery in action, harvesting the peat. But in the meantime, let's have a bit of a look at the machinery itself, as pictured here in the background and in this video. So they use these large tractors with a xylerator on the back, and the xylerator whips up the top few centimetres of the peat and fires it into the big trailers that they tow behind. The large tyres are required because the peat is very soft, and it is possible to sink into the peat. It takes some time for the peat to dry, so they wait for the weather to dry the peat out, and then they can harvest away. The slightest amount of rain and the harvest has to stop because the peat gets damp and won't fly up into the into the trailers and they want dry peat and also the machinery will sink in and it takes quite a lot to recover. In the background you can see sticks and things that have been recovered from the peat and a series of trailers and these large Massey Ferguson tractors that the guys use. The guys use these tractors because they have a minimum of electronics in them. The dust is very acidic, so things rust out quite quickly, and it's a very fine dust, so it can get into everything and cause corrosion and things like that. So stuff with electronics and that doesn't last long. There's a large piece of wood lodged in between the tires. Now a lot of this machinery is made or adjusted or adapted for the thing by the, by the owners of the mine. So there's some quite innovative stuff here that these guys build themselves and take some pleasure in obviously getting it to operate. They have, these are the main machines for the harvesting, but they also create some machinery of their own for the digging of the drains and the uh, sort of cresting of the drains because they're unable to harvest the heat up hard up against the drain. So they have a big grader blade that they have developed and used. So it's um, a very interesting operation in terms of developing machinery to do the job as well as keeping on top of... Uh, the job and keeping the existing existing harvesting going. They harvest through the summer and hope to stockpile as much peat as they possibly can through for the for the winter through the winter. The peat is predominantly used in potting mix for plants, so it goes out in large truck and trailers out to various potting places where it's mixed with other materials to make potting mix which might be bagged for public consumption or used in commercial situations. So here is behind me the large xylerator which um, is driven off the tractor and fires the peat into the back of the large trailer there which um, is then uh, dumped onto the stockpile which we'll see in another video. So, moving right along, today's background is this guy here. Who is this? There is a tenuous connection with today's title. Bit of a dad joke situation, but I'm sure you'll grasp it when you discover who this person is. He's a famous person. 
look for some connection with today's title. Yesterday's title, yesterday's challenge was, Who is this? This is Bruce McLaren, who had a motor racing park in Taupo named after him. He's a pretty famous in New Zealand, but worldwide in motor racing. And the McLaren race motor racing team still exists today. And, and he is in, named in his, whatever it is, <laughs> not in his honour, I think, because it was named, but in his, his namesake, the McLaren racing team. And Moz was quick in with that one to name Bruce McLaren. So let's go back to today's, uh, oh, that's the video, to today's guy. And the clue is in the name of today's topic. And that is the connection with this chap who, well, he's a, an actor among other things. Thank you to everybody who's liked and subscribed and commented. I appreciate your support so much and I am hoping to get around and surf through some channels and catch up with you in detail in the coming weekend. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support and it is so motivating, very motivating. So, cheers. See you.